This is a question that can be answered in, in a second, yes, but can be answered now in two hour presentation. And I'll try to be short. Yes, we have known for a decade maybe that inflammation and the immune system is significantly involved in the pathogenesis of MDS. Uh, there are many pieces of evidence that have shown it over the last decade or so. And I'll just mention briefly the, the more important one. Number one, it has been shown that many immune diseases are associated with MDS, much more than you would expect. Probably about a third or maybe 40% of MDS patients have also some kind of immune problem, which has to be on, on the surface has to be unrelated to MDS. Number two, there are several simple markers of inflammation that are more common in MDS. And here I will just mention in parentheses our study, which is very small and simple study, which is presented here. We showed that in many patients with MDS, compared with controls, the CRP, and or the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, which are markers of inflammation, are high elevated in MDS patients at presentation compared with controls. So this is another example of the presence and involvement of the immune system. Now another piece of information which probably should be mentioned here, that MDS, as we know, is disease of, of the elderly. Most patients are in their 60 plus, 70 plus, 80 plus, uh, uh, age. And we know that in these patients, inflammation is more common. Even the, the term inflammaging has been produced and been proposed. So we are, we are using now the term inflammaging, which means to reflect aging and inflammation, which is related to aging. Now coming back to MDS, it has been shown, and in this meeting there are several presentations showing new data about the process of inflammation, which causes or associated with MDS. And we are also, because the question that obviously will be raised, okay, so should we treat inflammation? And by that we can treat or prevent MDS. Well, we don't have a clear cut definite answer yet, but we are again in the beginning. But this is really the beginning, but we start to see more and more inflammatory markers, such as I just mentioned CRP or ESR. Here in this meeting also, there were several other inflammatory markers, some kind of the genetic markers that are probably indicate the role of inflammation and immune system. And yes, there are now already the beginning of several clinical trials trying to apply anti-inflammatory agents in the treatment of MDS or maybe even in preventing in patients with inflammation. So I think in the next few years we will hear more about the role of inflammation and more than that the role of, of uh, attacking inflammation and by that either preventing MDS or at least trying to prevent the progression of MDS.